Here on this channel we're going to make today three different types of bruschetta, the two of them are going to be different and one of them is going to be a classic but with a twist. Stay tuned because it's going to look like this. You still here? Very good. So let's go over the ingredients, see what we have and how we're going to do it and then start chop the vegetable. And don't be intimidated with the ingredients because all of the recipe with the ingredients and the method of cooking are in the description below. So make sure to check that out. So we have extra virgin olive oil, flour for the eggplants. So we're going to fry them and the flour is going to give them a little bit of crispiness and help them not absorb too much oil. We have a challah bread that we're going to make a bruschetta from it. And if you want a recipe for the challah bread, it's supposed to be on the right or the left of the corner. So I don't remember where I'm supposed to put it. And you can use any type of bread for the bruschetta. For the vegetables, we have red peppers, red onion, Roman tomato, lime for the zest, for the kickness. And maybe we're going to use the lime juice also. Eggplant, again, fried. Basil, coriander and parsley. Garlic, of course pancetta, artichoke, jerk seasoning spice, bomba that I'm usually making from chilies and the oil from the artichokes. And if you want a recipe of the bomba, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on it. And the secret ingredients, balsamic and soya sauce. And of course, the regular spices, salt and pepper. So if you're ready, come closer because we start to chop the vegetables. We're going to start with our challah. We're going to slice from the challah six pieces. Now we're going to slice our eggplant. We're going to cut the edges and cut it into cubes. Our artichoke already cut. We're going to take the red onion and we're going to use two pieces and we're going to cut it in two different ways. One, one was cubes and the second one we're going to cut strings and we're going to take it put it in this bowl but before we put in it we're going to crush it a little bit so all the flavor of the onion is going to come out tomato cut it in the middle cut it into cubes And also with the red onion. We're going to take one leaf of basil, cut it in the middle, bring it together, and slice. And with the tomato. One piece of garlic, we're going to crush it, take it out, and chop. It. And add it to the tomato. Now we're going to take our parsley and coriander, bring them together and also chopped. Put them with the onion one one. In this bowl we're going to do also a garlic, take it out and finely chop. One pepper, clean it and chop it. Basically we're making here a type of chimichurri with the parsley and coriander and the chopped onion. Now we're going to take our pancetta and cut it into cubes. So now we have a small process of cooking for both of the special bruschetta. One we're going to deep fry the eggplants and the eggplants are here. I put a little bit salt on it and let it sit for five minutes. Here we have a pan for the artichoke and the pancetta that we're going to mix with garlic a little bit and the jerk seasoning spice. So it's going to be a little bit Jamaican cuisine. So let's take a bowl with the flour and toss inside the eggplant. Now I'm going to use a small strainer to take the eggplant and put it into the small fryer. If you need to fry more than that, take a bigger pot. I'm fine with this one. Plate with a pepper towel, already ready. Let's check on this pan. 
the pan I'm putting on 7 power out of 9 here we have our artichoke with the oil from it and we're going to put it without frying it basically the artichoke fried it with the own oil and then we're going to add the pancetta eggplant and you see already they're getting the color and the artichoke also already golden in this moment I'm going to add the pancetta lower to 5 out of 9 the heat okay let's take out our eggplants now we can put the second bunch and the last one the pancetta and the artichoke already golden so I'm going to take them out also on a strainer to lose all the excess fat that came from the pancetta and from the artichokes. And it's going to make them much more crispier. Meantime, when we're still waiting for the eggplant to finish, we're going to take our pancetta and the artichoke. When it's still hot, put the garlic, half teaspoon, the jerk spices, and shake it. And all of the flavor coming out. And put it back on the string so you have the air circulating from the top and the bottom and it's going to chill faster. Okay, now when we have all of our ingredients on the table and we have a small surprise that we're going to use a mango with the artichoke and the pancetta, the mango with the spiciness of the bomba with the jerk spice is going to bring the Caribbean flavor with the Italian cuisine. And for the tomato, we're using the balsamic as a sweetener with the soya sauce that's going to bring the umami flavor into effect in your mouth when you're eating the tomatoes and it's going to elevate the taste of the tomato. So now what we want to do, first of all, we're going to toast our challah bread in the toaster. And when it's still hot, piece of garlic and the same as all of the bruschetta, take a little bit and wrap the garlic on top of the bread. Organize them so they're going to be same shape, same size. We're going to start mixing and plating on the, on the bread. So for the mango. Cut it, and the smell is amazing. Cut into it, and open. Beautiful. What we're we going to do now, we're going to cut a couple of some of those cubes inside the uh, pancetta and the artichoke, and mix it. Take a little bit from the bomba, and put it also inside, mix. It. And you have the crispiness of the pancetta, and the flavor of the artichoke also with the crispiness sweetness of the mango and the spiciness of the bomba and the jerk for the tomato soy sauce and balsamic a little bit of olive oil and pepper and also mix it for our eggplant we're going to take a small bowl the fried eggplant vegetables that we cut olive oil nicely pepper so mix it. We're going to add it to the eggplant. Now to the lime, we're going to add the juice of the lime here and the zest we're going to add it to the jerk. Zest here, piece of the lime and the juice. Taste all of them. Correct, salt, pepper and maybe a little bit more olive oil and start playing. Look how we do it. And this is how you make three different types of bruschetta. One classic and two different with a twist. So if you like this uh, video, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because more of those videos are coming up every week. Thank you very much. I'm Andre and this is the three-way bruschetta.